God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43 Now Exodus 31, 12 through 14 says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Thank you for the reading of your word, Dad. Dad, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you created all that exists, and you sustain all through your infinite wisdom and boundless power. Yet you invite me to come to you in prayer, boldly, and with the expectation that you will hear and answer me. And I worship and am forever grateful to be one of your kids. I thank you for teaching me to take full advantage of this privilege, especially in regard to reaching others with your love. I thank you for giving me a heart for those who have yet to experience the fullness of your grace. Oh, I thank you for prompting me to pray for their welfare, both in this world and in eternity. Oh, Dad, I thank you for being my guide on the front lines of this battle between good and evil. I thank you for allowing me to put my foot on the head of Satan and his maggot demons every waking moment of my life. I worship you, Dad. Oh, most high Yahuwah, in Yahusha's name I pray. Thank you. I love you. God morning, God afternoon, or God evening whichever you're in right now. Welcome to you all. Always, always, always remember what Yahuwah God, our Father, has done for you. Never forget what he's done for you. We have heard with our ears O God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O God, command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame 
that hated us. Psalm 44, 1-7 May the reading of God's word bless your heart today. God is speaking to you here. Yes, it is true that all you have, all you are, is only because you have found favor with me. Always be aware of and appreciate all that I have done for you. Never get tired of telling others about the great things that I did and are doing for you. Tell it to your children and your grandchildren and let them tell it to their children. And when they won't listen, tell it to other people's children. Never take the glory for that which I have done for you in vain. Never think that somehow it was your own goodness that made you worthy. You were nothing until I found you. You are nothing without me. It is good for the soul to not only tell others about the good things I have done in your life and the lives of others. It is also good to share reports and read good accounts of my blessings upon the lives of the saints and their dedication to me. I will challenge you and encourage you so that you can rise up and do likewise. Understand that Israel did not win their battles because of their strength, because of their ability, or because of their talent, but because of my mercy on them. So expect me to do great things for you only because I love you and have mercy on you and not because you deserve it. These are the words of God. You be blessed now, you hear.